Hello friends, hello everyone, hello world, I, I really welcome you back again guys to this new video tutorial with OSB Pro. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you guys again, it's a pleasure to welcome you back again, it's a pleasure to thank you, that really, thank you guys, I really thank you so much all for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for loving us guys, for giving us support, for lifting up technology in africa i give all of you guys each and everyone who's giving us a hand to see that technology can also be lifted up in uganda now uh, today there's something that i have to let you know uh, if you look onto uganda's state of security school and then if you look on the other way around also we those as you know uh, there's something that you know uh, it's called cctv camera which now is rampant and is taking place in Uganda and East African countries. And you find that uh, everyone happened to install nowadays a CCTV camera. So we thought of now, why don't you come up with an application that can do that? Now we have one here with you, right now in front of what I'm going to show you. Uh, this thing I did it using Python. So I'm not going to take a lot of time, I'm just going to take you straight on what I did. And then if you are interested, you want to buy this system, then I'll advise you to come in and then you pick it, take the package with you. The only requirements that you need, the software you're going to give you, we're going to install the software in your computer ourselves. And the software will be in position to interact with the webcam that we, we may decide to buy it with you. If at all you are interested, then you can give your full package. If not so, then you can just get the package with you, you can buy the software with you. So. Uh, what I may simply say at the moment is that uh, the software that you are going to be uh, in position to uh, to utilize, I made from Python. Now Python is a very good programming language that has all the packages and does not limit us from what to do and how to do it and what to say. Now let me just take you straight into my program and then I just show you. Now I may have to show you some program here. These are some of the... the, the the stuff that I did with you. Now I'm going to just send my source code name, the name of the output into something called YouTube. So that you see. So I'm going to change this on YouTube. So I save it. So that by the time when I'm producing up the code, meaning the, the MP or the video, it will be stored in it here down. Uh, it is some kind of long. I'm just trying to protect my source code if possible. Then if you guys you need it, then you can always come in for it. Then if at all you're interested for short course programs, then I advise you to come in for. Now if I just take you back to what I've said, if I try to run this source code, it's going to produce for us one of us the, the, the CCTV camera kind of uh, to can be recording and it can also be in position to detect any real time application. So if you're Ugandans or if you really feel like you need this application, then I advise you come for it come for this application I'm going to turn it into an installer and I'm going to now make it to be uh, uh, having all the features that a user may need because it will be working up basing on the camera that we may take to buy with you so there's no need for you to look for software you already have one that can store data into form of maybe a video so uh, there that you can save it somewhere so you just check here click on that you will see the video coming up down so I just take you my camera has already sensed up that, so I'm just try to minimize this. Uh, and if you check back in here, this is what I'm also to say. Uh, I think you can see YouTube. YouTube is somewhere here. Now, in this time around here, as you can see, it's now recording up my uh, my stuff. Or it is now recording up me. Uh, if, if you check, it is now uh, taking up what I've been doing. And Recording. So that implies blah 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 that may be doing if maybe it is a thief and <laughs> and it's trying to steal maybe the something or you know, trying to take maybe a phone so the system should be in a position to, to to pick that from the from our webcam. So just for these few seconds that I've been saving up this stuff, if I go on down and show you the, the application, or if I save down to save my application, I just use the key. So if you press Q on your keyboard, you'll be in position to stop up the, the webcam and then you can be in position to, to, to change it or mean to save it. And when you save it, we shall discover that this was going to be turning from 0kb to the real kb that we want. 
or if not so you can utilize another type of a uh, working platform which the, the hard the software can be installed in. so uh, this software um, i think uh, uh, we, we came up with it over recently and then i will just looking for you guys your support if you know you're watching this video and you feel like oh why don't i give the support to these people you'll be most welcome because you want this software to be fully a uh, fully functioning so that uh, those people may really need in the real market can come for it so at the moment i think i'm going to be making up another video showing you how we utilizing this is to this a cctv camera or this application at OSP, so that you guys who may be interested you can always not take this chance in and then you'll be in part with us so let me just not take a lot of your time let me just take it straight to uh let me take it straight and show i save the program and you see what will happen here like i said It's going to turn from KB to, to real star. Don't forget our minute is now six minutes. Let me just utilize this time and I'll show you this. So if I hold it here in my keyboard, boom. it has saved and I think you already see the MBC really calculated again. So now uh, this is the time on the second of week to, to, to do the stuff. So if I just complete and I try to run this, now the good thing with you that it's not going to save the timing or the time. I mean the, the, the sound. The sound does not save the sound. I didn't in, uh, work on the sound or I didn't put the sound because it is not necessary. It will actually produce uh, an ordered kind of information. So I just need a camera that does not do those things. So I tap it under that in background whereby the system does not produce such kind of stuff. So if you are there outside there and maybe a donor or you are willing and you find the OSP video kind of interesting to you, then I just advise you make sure please you can come to OSP, talk to us. So that you guys you give us you know, a hand, we need your support so that you guys will we push this camera, CCTV camera, to another level. So let me just show what I've what I've done so that you guys you can get know what I'm going to talk about. Then just tap for the video. So uh, I as I may explain uh, there now it is not storing up no it didn't save up anything for us in the background because i mean the sound if you try to cross check right now this side the video is of size 1.1 one, one, one minute and uh for the five seconds so if you if you guys you can see now the, the video is having all what is good for a user to say you know what the stuff is working so that implies in simple term if we have the camera and then we have all the features then i think to something that's very very good for us to you know, to, to make the application uh, go to another level because uh, we want this uh, cctv camera or this kind of application that i'm designed that a user who might be interested in to onto what we are doing so that you can come in and buy them right now what we have we already have the cameras there's the samples we have so if you may be interested in your coming, then I like I've said to you, uh, hopefully tomorrow or within this week, I'm going to release another video which I'll be showing you how uh, we, we can actually install the, the application, turning the, the, the Python code into an into one of us uh, installer because a user actually cannot come in and touch using up this code. You will not understand what to run and what to do. So we need to put something in our screens called an installer and just uh, pause this application because we are not using it. So this is what I may simply say, I've already explained that to you. So there's something like kind of a camera, camera can you shoot for it? So for camera, something like this. There's something like this, a camera. So we need to, you know, get something like that. We need to turn into an installer like that. So that when we run in a computer or we, when we install it in a given platform, it can be possible to, to give out the, the output on the other screens, on the other computers. So it will depend on which screen we want to display out our information. So otherwise, guys, if you find this video interesting, please don't forget to support OSP by you subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you find what I'm doing is really important to you, then I advise you guys make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel and also come to OSP IDT Solution. You can always give us support, you can always give us guidance, or you can always you know be with us so that you guys will wish to many people who may need this support. So especially as Uganda it is, I wish all Ugandans who are watching this video, if you find this video helpful, then I advise you guys make sure you 
we cooperate so that we can always you know, lift Uganda together. So all Ugandans, I wish you nice time, and all the world, I wish you nice, nice time. Uh, stay tuned, always be, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I wish you all a nice evening and lovely day. Thank you all, lovely. God bless you. Nice time.